friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? I'm here to announce the uh, September collab that Susan and I are a co host of for September. So uh, we do a collab, a new collab every month. And uh, so this month it's called, here's the hashtag right here pick a bin, make a tag. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a long one, but if you just remember the words you just squish them all together and you have your hashtag right pick a bin make a tag pick a bin make a tag <laughs> so uh yeah susan from susan hiles art and i are co-hosts on this collab for september and it kind of spawned off of our august collab which was organizing our craft room or organizing things in our craft room whatever however you participated if you participated uh whether by video or maybe just at home uh, you uh, organize something so we thought why not now that we have our newly organized uh, goodie craft goodies <laughs> why don't we see you know maybe you found something that you hadn't used in a while while you were organizing or reorganizing I know I did so uh, we thought why don't we do something where we use those maybe uh, lost and found goodies right so uh, let's see so the idea is to pick something, like I said, from your craft room. Uh, and Susan has written here, pick and Susan typed this out for us. <laughs> so pick a bin from, pick an item from a bin, drawer, shelf, box, jar, basket. Use something that you had forgotten about or something you have been wanting to use for a while now. Yeah, maybe there's something like, oh, um, I want to do something with this and I have an idea. I just haven't, you know, sat down and done it or, you know, made it a priority or whatever. So now maybe this will be your motivating factor to go ahead and get that whatever it is out and do something with it, right? How fun. I know I do that all the time. Have something in my mind and just like, uh, uh, for instance, <laughs> right here. I didn't even plan on showing you this, but a little project I have sitting here. It's been sitting here for at least a month, maybe two. But I want to make some more of these little notebooks like I've made before. And I picked out these four books, five books. I cut one. And here are the rest of, here it sits, just waiting for me to do something with it. It's those little book, notebooks I've been making uh, where I put a metal coil, you know, uh, binding on it and just make it into like a mini junk journal type thing. Uh, so yeah, that is an example. Uh, something that's sitting around, it could be. So uh, let's see. You can use items from multiple bins. You don't have to... to Use only what is in one bin, yes. Make a tag, journaling card, or work on a page in a journal. So just because it says hashtag pick a bin, make a tag, doesn't mean you have to make a tag, right? You can do whatever you want. Make whatever you want. Just go crazy, right? <laughs> so uh, this is, of course, the announcement week. And then we're going to have four Fridays in September. So that's even more crafting on this fun project. So this coming, you know, next Friday... Uh, the next Friday coming up will be use something with your favorite color or at least favorite color. Uh, the next Friday will be use something round or square or any shape. <laughs> uh, make the next Friday make something for a holiday season, any holiday. It doesn't have to be Halloween, fall, or Christmas. Thanksgiving it could be Easter or whatever. Uh, the next, the last Friday make something that has the color of the sky blue or day or night so black brown you know just you know whatever so again as we always say in our prompts they're open for everyone let us know and we will add you to our participant list make sure you're subscribed if you want to participate to susan and i's channels both of our channels link our channels which i will have the links to our channels in my description box so all you have to do is copy and paste them into your description box. You don't even have to look them up, right? So you're a subscriber, you're linked to our channels, we link your channels, and uh, let's see, let us know, yes, and use the hashtag in your title, that will help everyone find you, right? Everyone that's watching this uh, collab will be able to, you know, either look at the participant list and click, the, there will be clickable links, or they can use a hashtag. So super fun, right? So the prompts, like I was, get ready to say are kind of guidelines you do not have to uh, literally stick to these aren't like hard and fast rules you know so they're just to give you ideas so maybe 
you know, you just needed an idea to like remember that thing that you found <laughs> in your in your craft room that you wanted to use or that you had in the back of your mind. So that is uh, that is everything in a nutshell, I think. I did want to show you an example of something I did do while reorganizing my craft room. Now that I've done a few things, but this is what I did this week. So I was um, getting ready and I had it in my mind. Like I want to clean out. I have a drawer of maps. My If you watch my uh, or reorganizing or craft room reorganizing uh, videos, I show once in a while, uh, probably in several of the videos, the dresser behind me right here. It has nine drawers in it, right? I, I love it. And there's one drawer I have full of maps and map related stuff for whatever, travel journals or whatever I want to put the, the maps in. So make a ephemera, whatever. But there were some travel brochures in there that I was like, I think I need to get rid of those. I haven't used them. So I looked through them. I was like, oh, there was a couple called uh, Backroads something or other. If you have those, those, those are, a lot of them I did get rid of, but not the Backroads. Backroads are awesome because I cut out all these pictures. They have all these awesome little pictures in there. I was like, oh, I got to do something with this. So as I was... I went through, I only had like three maybe, I don't know if I had four, but I went through all of them. I still have more to do. I'm still working on this project, but um, I went through all of them and cut out all the little pictures that I thought I could do something with, right? So I could get rid of the rest that I didn't want. So now I have that room, but I have all these awesome little <laughs> pieces of ephemera for my journals. So it was so fun and I think they came out really super cute. So um, like I'm still working on, these are the bigger pictures. And I thought they they look like if I cut them out and, and back them on cardstock, they would look like um, postcards. So that's what I did. And so let me show you that this one I cut around with my pinking shears. And I like that. So that is an idea, something you can do, cut around in pinking shears. Let me move this so you can see. Maybe with a colored background it might be easier. Uh, so yeah, that's one. See, it's like a beautiful, I don't know, mansion or something's... Uh, you know, room there with the chandeliers and things. So I'm not gonna do that on everyone. I'm just gonna flip through these. So the rest of them I cut, you know, they're all rectangular pictures that are, I think, believe horizontal orientation. And I did go ahead and round the corner. So like most postcards, I'm not saying there's no rounded corner postcards, but most that I've seen have squared off corners. But uh, I went ahead and round these corners because I like the round corners, rounded corners. And I used to back them, uh, I used postcard. I mean, I used index cards, because so I have a ton of index, index cards and I wanted to use some, so you could use index cards or just card stock. But uh, I glued them down with uh, art glitter glue because I wanted to make sure, you know, that, you know, I didn't want to have a problem with the glue stick, I didn't want to have to sew around them, so I made sure I used the glue that where they would stick down good forever, <laughs> hopefully. But uh, yeah, so let me flip through, through real quick here. And just show you how cute these are and see the back it I usually left the um, back with the lines so they could be drilling cards and they could be written on but aren't they pretty with all these different places around the world they look like postcards I think so I have more to do but um, I did mostly the little ones so far because they're so so darn cute <laughs> But isn't that beautiful? I love colored buildings in other countries, like in Mexico and places. I think they're so pretty. So that is the rectangle ones. And then the other ones, the little ones, I did uh, also put on index cards, different colors, as you can see. And, uh, you know, some they, most of them have the lines on the back. And I cut around them, you know, I left a frame and cut around them with my pinking shears. So again, cute little pictures from around, from around the world but uh look at that live life uh this one says and be happy <laughs> so i'll just kind of see the different colors of postcards i think i have a couple in here that uh i put you know opposite the lines on this side and the and the solid on the back but just to show you you know if you're cleaning out maybe uh, like something like this, like I wanted to get rid of it, <clears throat> make some space in that drawer and just, you know, it was pretty stuff. So I just wanted to get rid of the things, you know, I'm going to be going through all of those drawers. I haven't gone through them yet as part of my next plan of reorganization that I'm continuing on with. 
but uh, I, that map drawer was just on my mind, so I went ahead one night when I thought I had some time and uh, got involved, all involved in cutting all these pictures out. But I hope you can see them okay. Let me show you that one. That was so cute. It's a little deer. And the flowers, are, look at this one. This them look like, I guess they almost look like little mini postcards, right? But my idea was for them to look like kind of faux pet postage stamps also. And just be cute. Uh, um, I didn't try really, I did try a little bit, but not a whole lot to match the color to the picture. I just thought, you know, all the colors pretty much looked good with the pictures. I mean, little mini postcard. <laughs> so I'll just flip through real quick now. So you can get an idea and see. I don't know if you can see really good, but you get the idea. There's a lot here, and I really did go through. This is one of the index cards with like a graph paper background, you know, the squares. So isn't that a pretty bird too? Isn't it cute? So yeah, little postcards they look like, or post faux postage stamps. They just be would be cute to put in a pocket, just like they are. Decorate a pocket, um, decorate a page, decorate an envelope, you know, uh, further put them on a tag or a journaling card where you can make them into little tuck spots. These are, those are, were all horizontal. These are vertical. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All the colors. There's another one. I just love these. So cute. And the fact that they're from all around the world too. It's just kind of fascinating to see all these little all these little pictures. There's one that see that coffee there or whatever that drink is with the shape of a bike in it. Isn't that cool? It's just such a nice focus on whatever. I mean, whoever took the pictures did a great job for one thing. And I'm so glad I just looked through them and didn't throw that throw them out. I already knew that I did I liked those books because I worked with them before. And so yeah, I made sure I wouldn't have just thrown those out because I made sure I went through those. So that that's just to give you an idea. I mean, that could be your square rectangle thing, right? If you wanted to actually stick to that rule, <laughs> you could do this for your squares and rectangles. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll join us. Have some fun in September crafting with us, and uh, I will see you in the next, my next video. Have a great day. Happy crafting.